What is going on, guys? Sean Dow coming back with a technical analysis. Here we have Sid Yep. He is a recently graduated hammer thrower, so he's doing the post collegiate life. Wants to represent the Philippines. Love to see it. Love to see people just have passion for throwing and continue to do it after they're done with their collegiate career. So, yeah, Sid just signed up for uh, complete programming, throws programming, lifting programming, all wrapped into one with the technical coaching, all that stuff. So he's getting kind of like the top tier of coaching. Included in that is his technical analysis video, give him an idea of where to start with uh, making technical changes. Also gives me a better idea of how to program for him because I get to see what his throw looks like, see what his problems are, and program drills and stuff like that to uh, fix them directly, I suppose. So if you're interested in any coaching service like that, go check out my website, gripandrip.co. Also check out the apparel that I just dropped this summer. All right, support the brand, support your boy, support the sport. I don't know. Either way, let's get into it. Grip and rip, baby. Uh, yeah, so let's take a look at Sid's video. He sent me a few. It's very loud. I'm going to turn that sound off. Um, but yeah, so Sid he sent me four or five videos. This one had the best angle. That's the only reason why I picked it. Um, looking at like your lifts and all that stuff, like you're a pretty strong guy. And there's definitely potential there. PR 58 meters. Should be good for 60 for sure, especially looking at all these videos. Yeah, it's it's your movement's pretty good. Um, just need some tweaks, relax a little bit more, be a little bit more patient, fix that orbit up a little bit, and yeah, you're you definitely got the uh, you got some talent in there. Like so, you know how to move your body pretty well. So let's break it down frame by frame. Um, so left-handed, definitely gonna get some things mixed up. I'll do my best to not do that. Uh, but. In the winds, facing back the circle, square with the feet, winds, pretty standard, flowing with the ball pretty well, hands out away from the body, low point, a little low off to your left, as you're coming through on entry, stabilizing that left, that right side, already messed it up pretty well, uh, you can just see the head peaking a little bit, so maybe we need to work on controlling that. Head peaking, you can see this right side. You're getting good direction with it. You can see this left shoulder, and you kind of see it sit back as the ball goes through here. So that's good, but you can want to control the head a little bit more. Maybe that leads to some uh, patience issues um, later in the throw. But entry, like I said, pretty stable. Shifting back just a little bit early, I think you'd be a little bit more stable and let the ball build with a little bit more tension in the entry. So let the ball get like a little bit more ahead and kind of turn you in entry, because like I said, through here. You're leading it just a little bit with that right side. It's very subtle. You can see with the head, left shoulder a little, or sorry, right shoulder a little bit. But you're turning with it pretty well. You just see that head peeking. Down the legs, hips kind of posterior pelvic tilt tucked under pretty good. Torso over the hips. Pretty connected. Right side turning well. Sorry. Back leg, left leg turning well. Uh, left hip kind of chasing the ball. But yeah, I think your low point, it's not bad. Your hands could, I, was just, I could say the ball could be up a little bit higher. You could have a little bit of a flatter entry, ball dropping a little bit, low point a little bit off to your left, probably about 30, 45 degrees. If you got it a little bit more towards zero, or like I said, just kept the ball up a little bit more. Uh, so it was a little bit flatter, that might be better. Like I said, a flatter entry, you got to be more patient when the ball's a little bit flatter, I think. I think that might help you out. So flatter entry is probably going to be the first thing that we uh, start tackling. But single support movement is pretty good. A little bit of rise up through the through the right leg here is very subtle. You can see it with this drop right there. But uh, you catch decent weight distribution, kind of 50-50-ish. Chest is over in between the feet. Um, like I said, ball's a little bit low again, though. Low point. Mm, kind of 90 degrees before zero. But that can be a good thing sometimes. But I think, like I said, if you got this low point a little bit more towards zero, things would be a little bit easier on you. It would be easier to be patient, be easier to turn with the ball. You can use your strength a little bit more effectively, whereas you're strong, but then you're kind of fighting the hammer when the ball is off to the left side a little bit. And the low point's off to the left side. So, um, But you turn with the ball pretty well. Like I said, this wasn't the best throw that you sent me, but it is pretty good. Um, and you can see just a little bit of tension. You're a little bit early with this right side. Um, deep in the legs. Really good, I guess, kind of uh, athletic position in the legs. But you see this right side. Same sort of thing. 
pulling back before the ball gets to zero. It's very subtle, but just pulling back before the ball gets to zero, countering it well, hips tucked under, good movement, good single support movement, catch. I love this catch position. It's very solid. Same thing, though, ball a little bit low on this left side. That right side's going to pull. To kind of you got to fight it up and across so that right side's got to pull your right left leg's working pretty well still turning with it but the ball is just a little bit too far behind you so you just have a little bit of patience issues at least in this throw uh really solid like i said down the legs left right knee dropping i don't even know how many times i've already gotten that wrong i don't even know if i fixed myself every time i said it but left sorry right knee dropping pretty well catching pretty decent but then same thing you just kind of have the, the way the system is set up uh, that right side is going to be a little bit tight and a little bit impatient, and that's kind of what happens. Um, so, low point starting to shift a little bit more, getting closer to zero. But as that happens, your right side is going to kind of pull more. Hips really up into it, leaning back against it well. Nice counter on it. Pretty good. Pretty solid. Deep in the legs here, you catch. And then you come through, and that right side kind of pulls around. As you can see, your weight is very much over your. What would be the left side if you're in double sport? Uh, which can be good, but yeah, basically, and even like your path through the ring, we'll just play at full speed more time. As you can see it's kind of down this uh, right, sorry, left sector line. My mind is backwards right now. Uh, but down this left sector line, your path through the circle. All right, so that's just kind of a sign of impatience. Um, and like I said, that impatience kind of comes right in the entry. So. Yeah, we're, entry's going to be the big thing we work on. Like I said, controlling the head a little bit, getting the ball up and a little bit flatter, being a little bit more patient, letting the ball kind of turn you, letting the ball build tension instead of you creating tension right here. Like I said, ooh, excuse me, pretty good direction. But just got to be a little bit more patient, let the ball get a little bit more free. And then uh, otherwise, your turning mechanics are pretty well. You just got to set up the system better. So, yeah, dude, I'm excited to start helping you, helping you out. Um, like I said, you got some pretty good movement, pretty strong. Looks like you're a good athlete. So excited to see what my programming does for you. Hopefully throwing helps out a lot. Technical stuff's definitely going to help out a lot. So let me know if you have any questions. Sid. If anybody else out there would like any technical analysis, throws coaching, lifting program, complete program, you want the whole package, let me know. Check out my website, gripandrip.co. Sign up now. Some people are about to be starting up fall training at college. If you need some extra eyes, you need some extra direction, hit me up. All right, you want to start working on this stuff now so that way when it comes to competition season, you're already tuned in, you got your problems fixed. Whereas if you wait until competition season, it's almost kind of too late. Better late than never, but got to get started now if you want to make big changes and make big gains for the next season. So thank you for watching. Until next time, Sean Don signing off. Check out my website, gripandrip.co. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.